Welcome back all my alloys out there. I'm fixing alloy one here. Let's, we're playing another Minecraft custom map. This one, of course, is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now this isn't this. Now I know you guys are thinking, oh, we did the Los Santos map. This isn't Los Santos. This is the actual Grand Theft Auto San Andreas game. The original Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Not five. No, this is not five. Anyway. Now, uh, if you guys have been paying attention to the recording schedule, you guys know that the next episode to come out will be Alloyville, our shout-out slash recording schedule episode. I actually uh, just finished filming the first one. I already had an episode of Savage Lands and Stranded Deep recorded, so I just needed to film the custom map episode, and that gives me, until those three episodes are done, to work on it. So hopefully we can get some more done. Oh, It's raining. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and explore this map. Actually, one thing I wanted to do first off of hand was go in here. And I'm sorry, guys. This is the. Uh, hold up. Where did I write down that? Okay. Hold on. Before I forget, guys, this is the survival game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas map. Made by Jaren CZ. So, shout out to him for building the map. Thank you for getting this awesome map. A little bit of lag here. Uh, this iron door here, what's up with it? Oh, come on. Oh, Steve. Steve. Map by Jaren. Oh, whatever. Map by Jaren CZ, Ray Mancaster, and Jurek. I guess that's it for in here. I guess I was supposed to just bust in that door. I guess, I don't know. Oops. So we got the kitchen in here. They did a pretty good job of recreating the map. I checked a few chests outside. They were empty too. So yeah, furnace is empty. Now I'm pretty sure that from what they were describing it when I downloaded it, the description made it seem like this was a like PVP map. Like you would come here and like try to like ambush your friends. But I'm not seeing anything in any chests, so that must be wrong. Oh, here's the uh, changing room. It's the uh, walk-in closet. That's what it was, where you got to get CJ dressed in the game. I don't like the iron doors keeping me from going inside of these bedrooms. That's not cool, man. I understand though in the game you couldn't go into these rooms, so that's probably why. That might be why he's got it set up like that. But anyway, we're just gonna. I just wanted to check out the bedroom, so we just bust through that shit anyway. I mean, just to make a point, we'll bust through here too. No, too. There we go. There we go. Is there anything over here? It looks like this is just the outer section of the house. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go and check out the inside of every house. Why is Steve not flying? Fly, Steve. Dude, what is the point of taking you to get your aviation license if you're not gonna fly? Oh, and you know what, guys? I just seen something that really disappoints me. A cow. I haven't seen a single cow in my Minecraft world, my survival world. Here's a cow just running around in the middle of the city. There we go, now we're flying. So let's go check out the map. And I, like I said, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I've, don't, no, I've mentioned it before in other streams and other videos. This was my favorite of the Grand Theft Autos. Oh look, he's got the tank out here. So I've played this one a lot, and I have to say, from just from what I'm seeing so far, he has done a very good job of recreating it. Now the tank is a little bit, uh, at least some to be desired, but not bad. Not bad, but yeah, he did a really good job recreating the San Andreas world. I guess that's the park. Hmm. Oh, there you got the little uh. I guess it was the retention drainage ditch, whatever you want to call it. Hold up, there's some like signs and stuff inside of here. Oops. Let me just drop down. I don't know if this music is new or what, but I'm I'm turning that down. That was a bit too loud for me. It's a bit Minecraft's jamming out a little bit too much for me today, Mon. Hmm, so what is this? Huh. I don't know what building this is supposed to be. It looks like it's supposed to be some kind of factory. They got like a conveyor belt there. 
Ooh, lava with ender pearls dropping into it. Hmm. I don't know. Well, that's pretty interesting. Okay. That was cool looking. Fly, Steve. There we go. That wasn't so difficult that time. Huh. Oh, I get it. This is the edge of what he's built. He hasn't built past here, so he didn't build the entire city. But it's still a pretty good amount so far. So let's walk around, let's fly around and see what else we can find. Yeah, because that's definitely not part of Grand Theft Auto out there. So he didn't even use a super flat world? Hold up. We're not, we're not supposed to go over on the side, but I just have to check. Looking like he had to clear out some land, so yeah, I guess he did not use super flat. That's hardcore right there, man. You know, I would in myself in a build like this use super flat just because, you know, you can always build the hills if you need the hills, but I have to dig out all that stuff. That's block by block replacing shit. I'm like, I'm sure he did it on creative. There's no way he did this all on survival, of course, but still, the point comes in the fact that this is a very impressive build. I mean, I'm I'm amazed that he didn't do this in, in Superfly. That just I, that just blows my mind. Hmm. Taking a while for everything to load in. What we got over here? Half rendered in the distance, this tower thing here. Hmm. Oh, it's a bridge. We go this way. Where's the edge of the map this way? Hmm. What's this here? Warning construction vehicles. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is like some construction company or something, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Is this? Yeah, this is the arena. Okay, I like the little cars he's got out here. They aren't too bad. Well, yeah, this is the arena where you came in here and you did, like, the uh, demolition derbies and stuff. I remember that. Okay, so let's not bust through the wall. Oh, my God. Let's be civilized about some of the stuff in this episode. Hey, Creeper. Just chilling up there. Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. Hmm, so once again, we've got stuff falling off the walls. I don't know why that happens every time I play one of these maps, but it's like nothing ever stays on the walls like it's supposed to. Hmm. I hear all you zombies. You know what? Let's just go ahead and... Time set zero. Yeah, that's daytime. So that is the demolition derby ring and the little racetrack and everything, but we're not going to go in there. It's a bunch of dead shit in there. I'd really rather not mess with anything that's no longer living, like zombies and skeletons. I don't know if creepers are something dead reincarnated. The spiders aren't, but I still don't want to mess with any of that stuff. Oh, look at the helicopter! Speaking of creepers, look at those two just down there chit chat and have a good time. That helicopter looks pretty cool, I like that. I like the helicopter. I wish we could fly it. Does the sign say anything? No, it's just color rule. Oh well. Creepy, creepy sounds in Minecraft again. Hmm. Let a little bit of this load in. Pretty. I like this build. I actually kind of like this one better than the first one we did. The first Grand, the first custom map we did was Grand Theft Auto map, and it was good. Don't get me wrong, but I just seem to like. I just for some reason I like this one more. My I mean, it's, it's I mean, probably just because, like I said, five was my favorite Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, we got your parkour right here, buddy. So, all that parkour, tell me there's at least something in this chest. Nope. Ooh. Victory! I will take that. Thank you. So we do got a sword now, that's cool. Like, I mean, it's not like we really need it, but... Go ahead and run out here. We'll see what else we can find. We are off. What's up over here? 
Oh good, the rain went away, thank good. I, I hate the rain. I hate when it's raining in Minecraft. So this is more of that drainage ditch thing. Look, here's a little hidden chest right here. That one doesn't look like it's going to open though because it looks like there's a full block on top, so... If we break the block on top, nothing. Hmm. So I imagine the, the whole point of the chests everywhere hidden is you're supposed to fill them up yourself. You let people go find them in your own world. New Yorker. Clothes shop, cafe. Okay. I wonder what this is. This is like the jail. Oh no, this is one of the apartments. What's this? Cheap apartment for rent. Call Rocket Man Jump It. Jump Jet. Hmm. Well, let's see how it looks. I'm about saying where it's cheap. It's so small. Wait, hold on. Is he renting me all these apartments? I don't think so. Which one's for rent? Huh, oh well. He didn't tell us which room it is, so we must not be in such a rush to get out of there. Fly, Steve. Fly, Steve. There we go. Good, Steve. Good, Steve. Oh, there's the jailhouse. Yeah, you got the little uh, cop car out here. This must be the movie theater? I was running there and check it look real quick. What are y'all playing? Apparently nothing. Oh, okay. They have a lot going on. Let's see, today, twice, how I met your father movie, Avatar 2, Deep Space Turtle Chase, Search for Knock. Tomorrow, The Simpsons movie 2. Uh-oh. Tritonic. Uh, was that like Super Titanic? Cosmic Wars, Drone Attack, Invasion of the Derpy Squid. Invasion of the Derpy Squid? That doesn't sound very entertaining. Roof access, staff only. Okay, well we're not staff, so we'll leave that alone. Huh, okay. I doubt they got anything playing, but let's just look inside. Yeah, that's what I figured. Not much, you know, variations you can do on a movie theater, so. But I like the, uh, those are creative titles, so that was cool. Oh, well, I like those titles. So let's see what else we can find. Let's see, we got a convenience store over here. Oh, I just saw a chest up there. Never mind. It was just the way it was rendering in. Hmm. So there's definitely plenty of cool stuff to look at. I like how he's got the little chimney with smoke coming out with cobwebs. Okay, and then we had the. I remember this basketball court over here. You had to kill somebody, chase them down on a motorcycle, and kill them over here. Now when we're at the edge again. There is chests up here. Well, at least there was one over here. Anything in it, though? Probably not, but. Yeah, so I imagine, you know, if you were to download this world to your your computer, you could, like, fill these chests up with, like, random weapons and stuff, and you've already got it all glassed off. There you go. Hunger Games, Grand Theft Auto style. Hold up. Are those houses? Is that Chris Thorne? I just seen pictures inside of them. Yeah, these are houses. What's this over here? We got Barber Salon. And Botanica. Oh, okay, where you grow plants and stuff. It's like they got one of pretty much everything, almost. Dispenser. We don't need to dispense anything right now. We dispense of you, dispenser. Hmm. Anything else around here that could be interesting? Oh, we got the bar. I think the bar would be a good place to go check out. Why not? Ten green bottles. I wonder if that's what it's really named in the game. Uh, so that doesn't do anything. I was hoping it would like give us a drink. Now, I know you couldn't do this in Grand Theft Auto, so I'm going to definitely go check out this. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Well, I don't know why I'm still checking. Why am I still checking? Okay, so not bad. That's a pretty cool look bar. I'd, I'd drink there. I would go there for a few brewskis. Hmm, so is there anything else? Can we find anything else of interest around here we want to go check out? Anything else? This is over here, but we're not far from where we started now, so... Yeah, because there's the tank. 
So that's pretty much it. Maybe about half the cities incorporated into the map. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I hate pausing the episode right there towards the end. I mean, we ain't got much longer left on this, but that was an important FedEx I had there at my door. So it was by the end of the episode, but we'll go ahead and check out one more thing first. So let's go and check out this convenience store right here, which is to see what it has to offer. I didn't want to unpause it just on the episode, so. Hmm, almost like a little art gallery slash library in here. That's pretty cool. I wonder if all the hoppers are connected to anything? I don't know. I'm not throwing my one item I found in the map in the hopper. It's not happening. What's this here? Los Santos Info Center. Oh, okay. Potion shop? Okay. Don't remember many potions in Grand Theft Auto, but I could be mistaken. Now, of course, I'm not to chest. And can we get out before it? No. Aha, we got out that time. Anyway, guys, if you like the map, hit that like button. You know? I like the map. I like it. Like I said, I low Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was my favorite one, so that's probably why this is now my favorite Grand Theft Auto custom build map, and they did a really good job of recreating it. So hit that like button, guys. Hop in the comments, tell me what you guys think. If there's any custom maps you guys want to see me do, tell me. I'll see if I can find them. And subscribe if you guys want to see more content. But this is Unfixing Other One, and I'll see you guys next time.